A Flag for Juneteenth, written and illustrated by Kim Taylor. The scent of nutmeg and vanilla floated through our cabin and landed as a smile on my face. Tea cakes smell so good while they are baking that I can taste them before I even take the first bite. Tomorrow is June 19th, 1865, my 10th birthday. Mama said that I am practically a grown-up. Hulda, go to bed now. You'll have, you have a big day tomorrow. I thought I was dreaming when I heard the loud clip clippity clop of heavy horses' hoofs. Mama and Papa sat up, rubbing their tired eyes. Worried faces peeked out from cabin windows and doors. Dusty soldiers crowded into the little corner of the Texas plantation where we lived. A man with a beard jumped down from his horse and held a paper up high for all to see. With a booming voice, he read, The people of Texas are informed that, in accordance with the proclamation from the President of the United States, all slaves are free. I held my breath. No one said a word. Then cheers, louder than the loudest thunder. The angry plantation owners followed the soldiers as they rode away, shouting questions at their backs. We didn't know it, but President Abraham Lincoln had signed the Emancipation Proclamation more than two years earlier. Enslaved people had been free since then, but the plantation owners chose not to tell us. I squeezed through the crowd, listening as people prayed, sang, and cried quiet tears of joy. The noise woke baby Eve who made her own loud fuss. I opened my cabin door with a hand that looked new to me. I hugged my sweet baby sister while songs of freedom filled the air outside. Baby Eve blinked in the bright sunshine. A group of excited women made plans as they sewed freedom flags. Eve and I watched as their hands made quick, perfect stitches. Many looked like the patchwork quilts that kept us warm at night. Jacob Menard, the oldest man on the plantation, hopped to the center of the square. He held his walking stick high in the air. Today is, ju today is a jubilee, a day to celebrate our freedom. Laughing children searched for smooth tree branches to use as flagpoles. Find a stick, find a stick, not too thin, not too thick. Make a flag for all to see, make a flag for Jubilee. Papa and the other men carved the branches with beautiful designs. Papa, what does that mean? I asked, pointing. His finger made an outline of the carved out space. This symbol is called Fahodie. It means independence and freedom. It was just then that I remembered my birthday. Papa, I'll be back soon. I took the long way into the woods, around the, po around the pond, over the pile of smooth stones, and through the tall grass. I found my favorite tree and climbed until I could see the horizon. I felt hopeful and very grown up. I pulled a small jar with a lid from my pocket. Bright sunbeams were shining through the leaves. I grabbed one and carefully put it in my little jar. When I made it back to the plantation, Mama was waiting for me. Hulda, where have you been? It's time to start your birthday celebration. I showed her the little jar of light and explained that I had captured a sunbeam. Hold up, put on your beautiful birthday dress and meet me outside. I have a surprise for you. 
Everyone sat around me in a big circle, and Mr. Menard handed me a large stick, orange sack tied with a pretty ribbon. I opened it. My own freedom flag, Mr. Menard said. Everyone on the plantation helped sew it, but it isn't finished yet. My flag was a patchwork of soft yellow and green with a purple stripe across the middle. Hold up, Mama said. This white star represents our right to freedom. Please sew it into your flag. She handed me a needle and my little jar. I place the star so that it rolls from the purple stripe like a sunrise. I sewed it in the bright sunbeam so that it could help to guide me wherever I might take it. That night, as our neighbors returned to their cabins, Mama and Papa whispered to me that they had planned something special just for us. We held hands as we walked into the woods. Mama and Papa hugged me. Happy birthday, Hulda. Happy Jubilee Day. We looked up at the moonlit sky as the tall trees smiled down at us. Mama and Papa wrapped Baby Eve in my beautiful flag. They held her high. And together we are we owned our freedom. The end.